Uh, hi, uh, Alan Sweeney, Edgerton, Wisconsin, Rock County, Wisconsin. Standing in front of a, uh, a, a new strip till bar uh, that I put together this winter. Uh, components, uh, uh, Dom Pluribus units, uh, the new generation with a, uh, with a Montag fertilizer delivery system uh, mounted on top. Uh, we'll start with the front. I pull this uh, with a, uh, a 4755 John Deere uh, two-wheel drive. Um, it doesn't have any trouble pulling this 30-foot uh, 12-row bar. The, uh, um, the only issue I have with it is the lack of hydraulic flow. So we mounted a uh, command uh, hydraulic system, PTO pump, uh, on here to run the fertilizer delivery system, the Montag fertilizer delivery system. Uh, it works very, very well. Um, gives us a range of uh, speed with, uh, with uh, the, the hydraulic flow that we, is required for, uh, for this unit. Um, the 1780 bar <clears throat> features the, uh, the, the drive wheels and transport wheels all out in front of the bar, which is essential for a strip till bar uh, because there isn't room between the bars for those tires. So every wheel is out in front. Uh, that was one of the main reasons I picked the 1780 bar. Uh, it's a very tough bar that uh, worked quite well uh, for this application. I mounted the Montag box uh, on top of the bar uh, and it doesn't have any trouble carrying it. Um, I didn't, uh, I didn't want to use the cart, the Montag cart, uh, very good cart, but uh, uh, I find myself driving in circles in my small fields, so uh, I mounted the Montag box uh, on top of the bar. Um, the new generation Dawn units uh, are, uh, are, in my opinion, an improvement over the old uh, first generation pluribus units, uh, they, ha they are heavier built, uh, have the uh, uh, air down pressure system, and uh, are built for this type of application. I uh, handle my rocky soils very, very well. I had to modify the, uh, the hinge points here to carry the outside two rows uh, on this bar, uh, simply because the, the, the strip to units are wider than the the planter units which this bar is uh, designed for. So this is probably the only modification, bar modification that I had to make uh, on this bar. Uh, otherwise it was, uh, it was a bolt up ready bar. I added a, uh, a fertilizer auger to the back. Um, I, I currently use a, a tender with an auger on it uh, for for filling the uh, Montag box, but uh, uh, this offers some flexibility if I want to uh, uh, use a, a simple gravity box or a truck uh, dump box to, uh, to fill uh, the fertilizer, the Montag box. Uh, I, still use, uh, I still use markers, I'm old school. Uh, it is GPS uh, uh, speed controlled uh, for the a delivery system, but uh, I, I don't have swath control and and, uh, and I don't have auto steer, so um, I can still drive a straight row. Uh, it handles the variable soil conditions really well, uh, from from gravel knolls to to uh, hard clays. Um, it gives the the flexibility I need in these variable soils. Uh, top on my wish list would be tracks um, to carry the to carry the weight. Um, this is a uh, this is a heavy bar and it has a lot of equipment on there and you load it with with a five ton of fertilizer and it's heavy. Um, so that'd be top of my wish list. I guess uh, um, something that we will be doing is variable rate uh, fertilizer application, but uh, right now we're we're at, at two rates. We're, we can program the controller for. It's a, uh, it's a Raven 660 controller. Uh, it has uh, two, two uh, rate application uh, options on it. So. It uh, performs uh, very, very well. Um, 
this uh, has been a tough spring so far, um, but uh, very happy with the results.